unfortunate is the person who gets Ramadan and then can't get himself uh, can't get himself forgiven because this is the month when Allah's Rahma doors, the doors of Rahma are open, okay, and the shaitans are locked up, and there's no opportunity for shaitan to come and whisper to us. It's just our own nafs. We just need to control ourselves. People ask, okay, then why do I still commit sins? Okay, if shaitan's gone, why do I still commit sins? Well, we gave the example before, and I'm just going to give you again quickly. It's like a bike. When you pedal it for a certain time, it keeps on moving. Okay, <laughs> and then even though you're not pedaling, the bike's still moving. So shaitan's been pedaling us for the whole year, and we're still moving with our sins. All we need to do is pre press the brakes and stop the sins. Okay, and change yourself because this is the best time. This is the best time for you to, you know, for example, brothers and sisters, maybe they smoke, they can stop smoking. For brothers and sisters who are not praying, they can start praying. For brothers and sisters who are not being nice to their parents, their family, it's a time for families to come together. And Alhamdulillah, we have this opportunity to remind you. And it's a reminder to ourselves and to all the people here and to the people that are listening that, you know, these five days we need to make the most of it now i don't want to bore you guys too much because this kind of stuff can get boring again you can get very um you know uh, very much into it but it's even though it might seem boring it's very very important that we talk about this stuff so now let's lighten things up a bit okay now i've got a joke to tell everyone but before the joke i want to share a riddle because obviously you need you need time for people to call in and answer the riddle last week we had a riddle and a uh, young a sister, a little girl, okay, one of my students, she called and answered it straight away, so subhanAllah, that was great. <clears throat> now, today's riddle, okay, I was researching it, because obviously throughout the week you have to prepare and stuff. Okay, what is that one thing that someone has to take of you before you can get it? What is that one thing that someone has to take of you before you can get it yourself? Okay, now let's see who can call in and answer that. If you can call in, then it basically means that you're smart okay that actually reminds me last week we had a winner for the GCSE results and someone by the name of Yamin called in to say that his sister got um, excellent grades now we need Yamin to call in or someone from his family to call in and uh, talk to us again or give us an email at ym at ikriuk.tv to tell us what your house address is and uh, your contact number so that we can contact you and send you the the, the gift or the um, or the surprise that we had for the person who done the best GCSE results and let us know about it and uh, the award inshallah will be coming from sunnamas.com it's going to be uh, in their courtesy inshallah so i was saying the riddle okay is what is that one thing someone has to take of you before you can get it yourself now why people are thinking about that let's have a nasheed inshallah are you guys ready inshallah for a quick nasheed Okay, yeah. when you're ready, Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Subhanallah, 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 Subhanak Rabbi, Subhanak, Subhanak ma a'zam shanak, سبحانك ربي سبحانك سبحانك ما أعظم شانك ندعوك ونرجو غفرانك ندعوك ونرجو غفرانك ربي As I travel through the earth I can help but notice Mashallah. the symphony I hear all around from the smallest grain of sand to the faraway planet to a flower putting roots in the ground every bird in the sky every rock and every raindrop says as it falls from the clouds every ant every plant every breeze and all the seas they all sing Subhanak Rabbi Subhanak Subhanak Ma A'zam Shanak Subhanak Rabbi Subhanak سبحانك ما أعظم شانك ندعوك ونرجو غفرانك ندعوك ونرجو غفرانك ربي جل الله بكل كون الله ألمح نور الله وذكر رب في دقة قلبي يهتف بسم الله خلق الله صنع الله ما أبهى والأكوان تسبح 
سبح بسم الله جل الله في علا يا رب يا رحمن الله سبحانك ربي سبحانك سبحانك ما أعظم شانك سبحانك ربي سبحانك سبحانك ما أعظم شانك ندعوك ونرجو غفرانك ندعوك ونرجو غفرانك ربي ما شاء الله واو this song was sung by Mahir Zain so obviously yeah, yeah, I think we, all the credits yeah, go to him well. yeah so brother Mahir if you're watching please don't be upset that these guys just done it better than you <laughs> <laughs> actually okay they tried to copy you okay please don't be upset don't do us for copyright <laughs> okay mashallah that was amazing and I think that, that the guy... But to be honest, let me <laughs> bait him up. <laughs> he actually copied it off someone else. The Arabic... Uh, Hold on, my stop, copied it off someone else. Stop baiting him up. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, come on. That's, that's, that's going to mess up the whole industry, man. Come on, calm down, guys. Okay, so, mashallah, it was really nice. The, the way you guys are saying it together, I was trying to join as well, but, you know, my voice is, like, not up to your standards. Okay, so I think we have a caller. Let's see who this caller, what this caller wants to say. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Who am I speaking to? Fatiha. Mashallah, and where are you calling from, sister? Manor Park. Manor Park, and what would you like to say? Um, I want to answer your riddle. Oh no, that quickly. <laughs> Is it respect? Nah. Is, Is it, it not? But even if it could be that, but it's not oh. that. That's not the answer I'm looking for. Unfortunately. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, let me just say the riddle again. What is that one thing that someone has to take off you? Not give to someone. Else. Someone has to take off of you, oh, okay, okay, before you can get it yourself. Oh. Okay, but good try, okay? Do you want to say anything else to the whole world? Uh, no. 23 countries watching you right now, probably 3 million people. Do you want to say anything? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, thank you for calling in. Okay, salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. That was a very good caller, mashallah. We want more people to call in, okay? Try and answer this riddle. Share a joke. Share a riddle, okay? We've said before, don't be miserly. Be stingy. Share, okay? <laughs> share a short story. Okay, talk to us. We want to hear from you. We want to know where you're calling from. We want to see how far this show is going because this show will get big, inshallah. Before the lines get busy, please get on your lines, please get on your phones and start calling in. Now, talking about your nasheed, can you just tell me, uh, give me a brief idea what it's about? What are you guys saying in the nasheed? It's, it's trying to say, like, everything in this world mentioned the name of Allah. So, like, it's describing... It's everything. glorifying Allah, yeah, it's glorifying Allah. So, yeah. it's mentioning that whatever, the birds, the yeah. trees, whatever, yeah. they're all mentioning the name of Allah. So, that's the Subhan idea. Subhanallah, Allah. Subhanallah. Wow. And I think, you know, we're saying the names of Allah and everything that Allah... See, that's one of the things. If you look into nature, okay, I, I think I saw a video or something or an article somewhere. It was about learn from animals, basically. People train animals, but we can actually learn certain things from animals. Because look, Allah has created animals for a certain purpose, okay? They don't have no brain. They're, well, they might have a brain, yeah, but they, have, they don't have, <laughs> sorry, they have a brain. <laughs> but they don't have a choice. That's what I mean. They don't have a choice. They don't have that intellect. When I say brain, I mean intellect, yeah? So, they don't have the intellect, but yet, they praise Allah every time. Every single leaf of a tree, okay, praises Allah. Every oh, single wow. animal praises Allah, okay, all the time, and that's what they're doing. Even though we can't hear and understand it, but they're all praising Allah, okay? And if you, like, uh, look into nature more, like, if you look at the beauty of the world, you can see more signs of Allah, like, who created all these things? Now, if we, as human beings, okay, just were to learn from animals, then I think we could benefit ourselves. Now, I want to talk uh, just a bit more about the last 10 days that we're talking about. Now, in the last 10 days, like I said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to work even harder. Now, there's a hadith, in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِنْ not niyat, but there's another one says إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِنْ خَوَاتِينَ which means that actions are according to their endings okay so actions are according to their endings which basically means the reward for your action depends on how you sort of finish it off how you conclude now Ramadan is a month that we've had for 25 days so far now we have five days now we might not have used these days properly Okay, we might have messed up here and there. We might have done something wrong. Maybe we didn't use all of our time the way we should have. Okay, but we have five days. This ending, if you can make this ending perfect, and if you can please Allah in this last 10 days, okay, then inshallah, Allah will forgive us. Okay, you know, we all commit sins. We all commit so many mistakes, okay. We hurt other people, but we need to ask them for forgiveness. We, we, know, we do stuff that Allah may, might be upset with. We might miss a prayer. We might listen to music sometimes accidentally or something like that. Okay, watch, you might have watched something that you shouldn't have. Okay, make sure you do istighfar to Allah because Allah says, okay, <coughs> that 
to the, he, Allah talks to the sinners, okay, in the Quran. Allah says, not to the good people, but he talks to the bad people who are sinning. That all people, all the people who are doing bad sins here, yeah, don't get like, don't think that, don't distress basically. Allah's, Allah will forgive you. Don't like think Allah's not going to have mercy on you. Because Allah will have mercy on you. Allah, Allah's mercy overpowers his anger. Because when Allah gets angry with us, okay, and if you just say, oh Allah, Ya Rabb, forgive me. Oh my Lord, I have sinned. I am, I am your worshipper. I am a slave. You have created me as a human being. I'm bound to make mistakes. Oh Allah, please forgive me. Allah will have, inshallah, inshallah will have mercy on us and he will forgive us. And the, the condition is though, that we need to change ourselves. One of the conditions, uh, three conditions for Tawbah, okay. First, you need to stop what you're doing. If you're doing something bad, you need to stop what you're doing. And then you need to regret, regret what you've done. Okay, and also make a firm intention that you're not going to do it again. If you do these three things, okay, then inshallah, Allah will forgive us. Now, we've, we've almost come to the end of our first half. I don't know how quickly this time flies, okay. Now, the riddle still remains, okay. What is that thing that someone has to take off you before you can get it yourself? Okay, what is that one thing that someone has to take off you before you can get it yourself? I'll give you a clue. Happens a lot in weddings, okay. So stay with us. Think about the riddle. Come back for the next half, inshallah. Don't go anywhere else. Okay, we've got loads more to share with you guys. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.